Welcome to footballgameplan.com where football makes sense. I'm Emery Hunt, the czar of the playbook here at the 2019 Rutgers Pro Day with the University of Charleston defensive end, Cousin Daniels. Appreciate you taking time, man. How's it going? Nice to meet you. I was watching film of Charleston's defense, and obviously, when you you know you go and watching the guys that are they're going to the senior bowl, right? Kaminsky, the teammate. But you kept popping up on film, like, man, who's this other guy? It's tough to block. Ball get off is outstanding. He's constantly finding himself in the backfield. How was it for you playing opposite of someone like Kaminsky, but how did that help you? And you also had your own unique challenges because a lot of times people will try to shift focus to him and it puts a lot of onus on you and you were able to answer the call each and every time. Yes, sir. Uh, playing with John was a, was a big plus for me. Uh, he worked hard every day, and it just pu it just pushed me to to go even harder. And you know, we we feed, we fed off each other. You know, at Charleston we were like thunder and lightning. So whenever they tried to slide the protection to him, I was able to be free and just go get the quarterback. Uh, that guy's a dog, and I just I I always like you know what I mean just how he his drive and how he was able to push us as a team and me as an individual. But because a lot of times people look at at the you know the two bookends and say, okay, can we make one do something that the other one can't. When you look at your strengths, again, you find your way in the backfield consistently, you use your hands really well. What will you say are your stronger points and what are some areas of your game you feel like, okay, I could probably get a little bit better in this particular part? Uh, I see as a strong point my get off. You know, I always I look at Cam Wake and his get off is just amazing and I just try to mimic his get off. Uh, that's one. Uh, two, my hand usage, you know, I try to not to let, let those uh, big offensive linemen get their hands up on me. So, you know, I extend well and, you know, burst off the ball. Yeah, because people think taller guys have a problem with leverage. I think you do a good job of exploding the guy's chest. When you look at the run game, that's also a part of it. I think you're solid versus the run. Do you feel as though people kind of miscast you as a pass rusher only and dismiss how good you are as a run defender? Absolutely. Uh, I came in the University of Charleston, and that's how they looked at me, just as a third down guy, you know, and I just kind of played my role until, you know, I was able to develop my game into to stopping the run and, and being better in the run. Where else do you feel as though you're being underrated as a prospect? Uh, uh, just, like, with my hand out of the dirt, just standing up. Uh, that's, something that, that's something that I worked on heavily during training and just, like, getting my drops and, you know, flipping my hips, so. I just try to get better at that, so make that my strength. When people are that are not familiar with your game and, and say, okay, well, tell me a little bit about them. What, what game can I go to and what game can I pick out to say, okay, that encompasses everything of what I bring to the table as a prospect? What game would you tell people go watch and why? Uh, go watch the uh, West Liberty tape. Uh, just my burst and get off the whole game. Uh, I just got after those guys on another level. Uh, just getting their snap count down and just my burst. Like I said, Cam Wake, man, I, I, I watch that guy every day. That, that get off is unstoppable. So that's just what I try to, you know, mimic. Well, that's what, that was going to be another question, like who you pick from, but you say Cam Wake, and he's definitely one to, to, to emulate because of how productive he's been on both sides of, of the line of scrimmage, playing both ends. When you look at your game out here and coming to a pro day and trying to make yourself known even more so in the eyes of scouts, how do you feel those you performed out here today in front of all 32 NFL teams? Uh, I felt like I came out here loose and uh, kind of performed like to, you know, to my standard. Uh, Could have did it a little better. It's always room for improvement, but I felt like I did a good job. Showed them that I can, you know, be loose and, and move my hips a little bit. So I think I did pretty well today. I always want to ask, is it nervous for a guy out here? You played in front of big crowds before. You played in front of crowds in general. But is it different when you're out here and you got guys that are from the NFL watching you work and everything that they do, you kind of look and say, Damn, what if they talk about Bo? How nerve-wracking is that process? Absolutely, it's definitely a little different when you got those stopwatches and whistles out here, uh, just on their game. So, uh, training, you just try to prepare yourself for it, and you know. But when that day comes, it's definitely a lot different. But you know, you just try to handle it as best best as possible, and just do your thing. Do your thing out there. At the end of the day, just. Go watch the tape, and they'll see exactly what you bring to the table, man. Good work out here today, and we wish you the best of luck moving forward. Hey, man, I appreciate you. Thank you.